Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. Today I got a tool that's going to make your life easier and I wanted to show you how this tool helped me discover something crazy. So stay tuned for that. So what this is is called the Easy EVAP and this is a gas cap adapter that attaches to the filler neck so we can hook up a smoke machine to check for EVAP leaks. So the way the tool works is it comes with these adhesive pads here that's uh, double sided so you're going to peel off one of these and you're going to stick one side to the tool so you'll just center it up and you'll stick it on the tool. Once you got the pad stuck to the tool then we're going to peel off the other side of the uh, double sided tape here so you're going to peel off the second side. So now we're going to attach it to the fill neck on the uh, gas tank here. So this vehicle has a, a flapper door inside the fuel neck to and uh, it comes with a tool that uh, holds that open so you can inject the smoke. So you put this little tube in and it's hollow so the smoke will flow through that and go into the fuel tank. So you put the tube in, now you take the EV Easy EVAP, center it up with the fuel neck, and then you press it on until it's nice and firm. And then you can hook your smoke machine hose up to it right here. This adapter is designed to work with all the cars that are out there on the market. So once you get the adapter hooked up to the fuel neck, now you can turn your smoke machine on and turn the flow gauge on. And then you can use a scan tool to close the vent valve and seal the system off. Now we're injecting smoke into the vehicle and now we can start looking for leaks. So I also wanted to point out that it comes with about 12 of these little adhesive pads that you can reuse multiple times as long as you keep them clean. So this Easy EVAP helped me find something that's pretty crazy here. So I have this fuel tank removed from this vehicle. And the reason why is I was injecting the smoke in there and I was getting a ton of smoke pouring out and I couldn't tell where it was coming from. So I dropped the tank down and now I have the Easy EVAP still hooked up to the fuel neck. And then I hooked my smoke machine back up to it and I started pumping smoke into it. And if you look at the uh, flow gauge, it's at the ball is floating at the top. That indicates that there's still a leak in the system. So I'm manually sealing it off with my thumb on the vent. And I got the smoke directing into the tank. So there's no other way for it to escape unless it has a leak. So I went looking around. And then right here, if you look, you can see the smoke pouring out of the tank here. And then also out of the tank here. You can see the little wet stain too. And the reason why is because somebody drilled wood screws or sheet metal screws through the floorboard. And... The screws went into the tank and punctured the tank. So you can see how handy this tool would be to hook up to cars, make it faster to hook up to them, to test the tank, and find those large and small EVAP leaks that can be stubborn to find. So once you've tested the uh, system for leaks and you found your leaks, you're just going to remove the uh, Easy EVAP. And uh, the way you do that is you're just going to grab the Easy EVAP and pull it off like this. As long as you keep this adhesive pad nice and clean when you store it, you can reuse it multiple times. Don't forget to remove your little adapter out of the uh, fuel neck when you're done. So if you're interested in picking one of these up, I will leave a link for it in the description of the video. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I encourage you to subscribe. I invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.